Hello Matrix and welcome again. Today what I want to do is go over the accepted reasons for your geometry paper two. Now this might seem basic stuff, especially when you look at the straight lines, you've done this in grade eight. You, why are we going over it again? Well, the reason is because I'm not interested in that you know what an alternate angle is. I'm interested in that you write the correct reason down in brackets. And we're gonna be doing triangles and quads and circles and it'll get a little bit more complicated but you really want to get these reasons right. And the ones I'm giving you, forget about what your teachers have said. These are the reasons that the government has published. I'll put the link in the description below. This is the official exam guidelines for matrix and all of the examiners are given this and this is what they're looking for when they mark your paper. So when you do your geometry, you, you want to put in the correct reasons. You don't want to lose these easy marks. So. Let's start with angles on a straight line. So what I've drawn is this diagram and you're given that A, B and C, D are straight lines. And you're also given uh, that they are parallel and they've labeled the uh, angles E1, 2, 3 and 4 and F1, 2, 3 and 4. And let's look at the first one. So angles on a straight line are supplementary. So what does that mean? Angles on a straight line, 180 degrees. So we can say then, if we were given this and you needed to say that uh, these two sum to 180, you'd say E1 plus E2 equals 180 degrees. And you're gonna just say angles on a straight line. Angles on a straight line. And you see, we don't need to write out straight and we don't need to write out angles. We can just abbreviate it. Now, say you weren't told that A, B, A and B was a straight line. So that was this one here we've just done. We weren't told, but they could give you that this was 100 and this was 80. So now we want to prove that A, B is a straight line. You're not going to probably have to do this uh, in your final exam, but you never know, it might come up. So then you would say E1 plus E2 equals 100 plus 80 equals 180. And that you would say is given. And then you would say, therefore, AB is a straight line. And this is the important bit, your reason. Adjacent angles supplementary. Adjacent angle sub. Okay, so again, very short reason, saving time. Uh, now let's look at angles around a point. Okay, so you would say E1, so for whatever reason you needed to say, you know, the E1 plus E2 plus E3 plus E4 equals 180 degrees and just learn one so I would say just angles round a point angles round a point very short uh, not not 180 360 uh, <clears throat> Okay. Now let's look at vertically opposite angles. Okay, so we're going to start with, now those are all the yellow, so let's change a different color so we don't. So we're going to start now with uh, the pink ones. So e, E1 equals E2, right? These two, because they're vertically opposite. So we could say E1 equals E2, vert up angles. Okay, I'm sure you remember this is this is the uh, vert up angles equal very similar but but get these reasons right um, and again you don't have to write alternate angles so what is an alternate that's your z okay so we could say let's draw the z in there and so a1 a4 equals F2, and we would say else, 
angles AB parallel to CD. Okay, um, done that one. Corresponding angles, we're looking for our F. So let's do that. Again, if this is a little bit basic, I'm sorry, but uh, we just need to go through it and so that everyone knows it. Um, and then uh, we'll start to do the more complicated circle geometry, which I think is probably what people are looking for help with. Okay, so we're gonna say E1, E3 equals F4. So these two are equal. And you, the reason would be, I'm mean, just do this. I have enough space. Corresponding angles A, B parallel to C, D. Okay, uh, and then co interior angles are supplementary. So we'll just do that perhaps in orange. And so that would be, you could say that that's the U. Okay, and so we would say A3 plus F2 equals 180 degrees, and that's co -ent. So you, very short, again, co -ent. You don't even have to write co interior angles AB parallel to CD. So it can save you time just by going through these. So just watch the video through to the end and the other ones, it's only gonna take half an hour of your time and hopefully it'll just save you 10, 10, 10 minutes in the exam, who knows, um, by the time you've written all your reasons. Uh, and then, so we've done our orange and then look, let's look at, now these are, to say that, say you weren't given A, B parallel to C, D. So, so let's say that we took that away. Oh. Okay. Now you weren't given it, but you were told that maybe these were equal. So let's say that you were told that, uh, so we see this is 80. So let's just say that you were told that this was 80 and this was 80. And well, we can see this is 100. So this one would, you'd say, well, you could say E3 equals um, 100 because of the top angles, but never mind about that. Let's just write it in there. And we'll say that this here is a hundred here. Okay, so now you can say that now we're going to prove that lines are parallel using the angles. And so you can see that's a very short reason. So let's start with the alternate angles. Okay, so we've got, um, and let's do, what did we do? We did alternate angles in pink. Okay, so you would say that E2 equals F2 equals 80, and that's given. You'd say, therefore, AB parallel to CD, and you just simply say alt angles equal. Quick. Now let's look at your corresponding. So that was the one in green. So we would say that E3 equals F4, so the green ones, equals 100. And that's would be, you would say given, and then you would say therefore AB parallel to CD and that would be corresponding angles equal. And finally, the co interior supplementary. So that we did in orange. And so we have uh, E3 plus F2 equals 
100 plus 80 equals 180 given. Therefore, AB parallel to CD, and the reason is co int angles sub. All right, so those are your straight line reasons. Very quick, should save you a lot of time. Next time we're going to do triangles, we're gradually going to get a little bit more difficult working our way into circles and quadrilaterals. Um, so if this video helped you, like, subscribe, and watch the next one. Um, share with your friends and all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next lesson.